The writing process can be mysterious. Sometimes a character that I create will take over the story. That's what happened with Edgar Allen's official crime investigation notebook. The original inspiration for this book came when two librarians told me that Please Write in This Book was the most frequently stolen item from their libraries. I thought I'd write a book in collaborative journal style about kids trying to catch a thief at their school. I began my pre-writing, jotting images that popped into my brain. Who are the characters? What is being stolen? When I started my rough draft, I ran into a big problem. I could hear one character's voice more clearly than any of the others. Edgar Allen was a boy who desperately wanted to uncover the thief's identity. His voice was so strong, it seemed like the book should be about him. But that wasn't my original idea, so what should I do? When I'm stuck, getting away from my desk helps. I grabbed my writer's notebook and took off, letting my mind wander. Taking walks is an important part of my process. Suddenly, a thought popped into my head. Edgar has not solved a single crime. Edgar is depressed. I realized that Edgar wasn't just a boy who wanted to solve a crime. He was a boy who was really sad and lonely. So the book shouldn't be a collaborative journal. It should be Edgar's story, his journey from loneliness to connection. So I had to start all over. If you want to be a writer, you have to work. Listen to your characters and keep writing.